Can we do it like a sports uh, press conference so you have to say your name and the uh, newspaper you write for before? Sure. No, you don't have to do that. <laughs> but it just has that sports feeling. Yeah. We had like a desk. Yeah, we're elbows on. Yeah. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Presidential address. Exactly. Yeah. Well, well, I'll take a couple questions from Sienna. That's right. All right, let's get into it. I definitely feel like a little boy right now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hello. I'm, uh, yeah. Mark Walters of BigFanboy.com. Welcome to Dallas. Fanboy! Fanboy! <laughs> so, uh, I know some of you have been here before and some of you haven't, but uh, uh, let's start off with, uh, I think nowadays when you take a genre like this, like the buddy cop genre, the only way to really try to do it right is to try to find new, a new way to do it, or maybe mm. reinvent it a little bit. And it seems like you guys found a really nice balance of, of comedy, but then also pulling in this really nice serious side. It, totally. The film actually has a progression, totally. which you don't often see in these types of movies. Can you talk about finding the balance for that and, and finding it within each other as well? Well, actually, that's kind of what uh, drew us to the project was that it was a it was a different take on the genre, like you said, and uh, and you know, like the third act is just action packed. So it went from just like a laugh out loud comedy to like, whoa, these guys are in real danger. Yeah, and that's kind of what uh, what I liked about it. That was something that the director and the writer uh, Luke Greenfield and Nick Thomas really pitched to us that they wanted our bad guy not to be another comedian. He's like, we didn't want the bad guys to basically seem like he's also in your group of friends. He just happened to play as the bad guy. So they got James D'R.C. and we didn't know him and we weren't all like hanging out after work. So there was always a disconnect between kind of his story and our story. Yeah, he's terrific too. And and can you talk, Rob, about playing the straight man? Yeah. Because we, off, we don't often get to see you do that. And I That's thought right. you did a really good job at that. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah no. Um, an opportunity to work with these guys, that was one. I jumped on that. But then also to play a role that's not necessarily as heightened as a lot of the characters I play, uh, I jumped on that too because I wanted to play something a little more straight, a little yeah. more uh, reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rob. Uh, Hi. Alice Reese, Greenville Herald Banner. Yeah. Uh, I was, you were a Marine, I read in the press notes. Did you help them with the uh, guns? Um, or did they? Did I just I just showed them which end the bullet came out of. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, our characters another <laughs> yeah, also. another spin like, on the genre is that our characters aren't cops. So obviously the whole time we're faking it. <laughs> so whenever we screwed up, that was kind of okay. It actually worked. It, it, it worked for it. And so Rob's character, who's kind of a badass and somebody we look up to, Damon and I really wanted Rob for this part because yes, he's funny and he is in our group, but he is also a Marine who served our country and he's an easy guy to look up to. So it kind of seemed like a perfect part for, you know. For but us. you all did have some training? Very uh, little. He had very little. I had next to none. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, but the, weren't the weapons a little difficult anyway? I mean. Yeah, that's why Jake was holding it like that. Uh, oh, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sound effects, you didn't have to make Yeah, you did not have to make that sound effect. They actually had blanks that would actually yeah. fire. You I'm an actor, I do my thing. <laughs> and I chose to go <laughs> ping, ping, ping. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Sarah Kaisak. I work for the MacGuffin. Um, my question would be one for Damon mostly, but you all can answer it as well. Um, did you ever feel any pressure to go into acting or even comedic acting based on your family? And for you two, I mean, did you ever feel like you have to keep doing comedic roles? Pressure like how? Pressure like... Uh, I mean, you've like got a legacy. Your family is mm. very well known. I mean... Uh, no, really. Uh, one, because they're, like, old. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. No, uh, I mean, I just, we, we're a very encouraging family. There's a lot of us. We kind of, a lot of us do the same thing. And they just really just, you know, give me sound advice and, and just, they're, they're for me. So it's, so if it's a win for me, it's a win for all. Did you ever, I mean, would you ever want to do dramatic acting versus? Sure. I mean, if, 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 if it came, if it came along and it was the right move to do, I would definitely do it. What about you guys? I mean, do you feel like you're getting pigeonholed into comedic roles? Well, I, I never feel pigeonholed into comedy. Comedy is, I love it. It's always going to be part of me. I, it's something I want to do. I seek it out. Yeah. So it's not, I'm not pigeonholed into comedy. Would I love an opportunity to do something else? Sure. I think any actor would. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, just whether or not you get the opportunity. Yeah. It's also quality over tone. So whatever the tone is, if it's good, and a movie like this, which had comedy and action, but these guys in it, I would do it if, if I've got an opportunity to do a great drama with great people. I would love to do that, but I, I don't have any interest in doing like a really like 
dramatic role where my character's dying if the movie's going to be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, no, I'd rather do comedy than something bad. Yeah. So it just depends on the project. Okay. How's it going, gentlemen? Uh, I am Chase Lee, and I write for the Dallas Movie Screenings. Uh, Chase Lee? Uh, speaking of comedy, I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of comedy, Rob, every time I uh, see you, all I think of is uh, Step Brothers and uh, Pow. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, I just had to say that. Well, good. <laughs> but, um... I liked you guys' chemistry so much in this movie to where uh, I want to see a sequel. So is it Let's Be Firefighters or Let's Be Doctors? <laughs> Choose. Astronauts. Let's be astronauts. Astronauts. Maybe. There you go. Yeah. yeah. There's more adventure in space. Oh, of it's course. Right. Always. Yeah. And aliens. What? <laughs> Rob, can you fight an alien? Can you do it? Yes. I feel like I can fight pretty much anything. In Let's outer <laughs> space, though? Yeah. You know how long it would take for your punch to get... <laughs> yeah, but once I hit him, he's just going to go for go away forever. <laughs> Uh, no, I uh, look. I would love if this thing does well, yeah. Uh, and they give us an opportunity. Um, well, it's not, and they want me back. If they want me back, then Which I'll kill them. Which we won't. If it does well, not a chance. He's out. If it does, <laughs> if it not. does poorly, but they do a sequel, we got robbed. Yeah, yeah. But if it, if it does, does good, well, woo! Are you kidding me? This guy's the lie. So what you're saying is Rob is on regardless if it does terrible. No. Yeah. If it no. Is. If it does terrible, he's on regardless. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's our ace. Okay. Now, look, if, if we're fortunate and we get to make another one, we would, the three of us would love Absolutely. to work together on anything we can do. Yeah. We all try to find each other and, you know, find projects for one another. Yeah. So whoever's kind of working pulls everybody back in. Well, it's a great trio of uh, comedy, sexual energy, and awesomeness. So. <laughs> sexual, sexual energy. energy. Nailed it. My man. Nailed it. You get it. <laughs> you get it. You get the vibe we're throwing I, out. And it's just uh, it's the way comedy works, gentlemen. So, yeah. I don't know. You're throwing it out. No, you're definitely. Hi, out. Uh, I'm Susan Kamyab. I'm with Irving Television. Susan. Uh, no, well, I, I do want to say I love the movie. You guys did a fantastic job. Thanks so much. Uh, what, my favorite part about uh, Justin and Ryan's relationship is how you guys support each other and believe in each other. I know all three of you are good friends in real life. Yeah. What would you say each one of you's best quality in your friendship is? In real life. In real life. In real life. In real life. You just, guys make me laugh. Yeah. Uh, and I think, you know, one of the things that Damon and I talk about hanging out with each other, because we hang out all the time. Too from, much, because we do the show also. Yeah. <laughs> so we do. We did a movie last summer where we were together all the time, had dinner every night. Then we went off and did New Girl, where we worked five days a week, 12-hour days. And then this <laughs> summer we're doing press. So this shit's getting weird. <laughs> uh, but we basically, we're talking about it, our relationship lives in a certain bit world, and we never get out of that. And it's really fun. And we always talk about like when Rob jumps in, he just like heightens it. So what these guys mean to me in, in real life is that they make me laugh, and it's always fun to hang out with them. We don't get like fights. And no one's moody. Yeah, no yeah. one. No one. Like I've never gotten into an argument with either yeah, one of them, unless yeah. it was a joke. Yeah, and we never. Yeah. Will. The day we do, will be like the most disappointing day. Absolutely. When Damon's like, you know what, Jake? In real life, though, that hurt my feelings. You annoyed me. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and is there anything that the movie didn't show that you guys wanted to do, like while pretending to be cops? That didn't show. Uh, I don't think so. No. We did so much improv in this mm -hmm. movie that we kind of did a lot of what we wanted to do. You almost forget sometimes too. Well, also, we you know, when you get, when you get separated from it, yeah, you get yeah. A, you get some distance from it. You're like, oh, I forgot we did that take, or yeah. I forgot. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. With, I'm glad they kept that because I anyway. thought they got, thought we were screwing around. I didn't realize they were rolling the cameras. Yeah. I'm Bill Graham with Noshi. And Bill. Noshi. <laughs> William. Um, one of my Jimmy. questions is, you have these cop training videos on YouTube yeah. that you keep looking up. Did y'all create that specifically for the movie, or did y'all find those online? That was created for the movie. The guy in those videos was actually the uh, guy who, from the Special Forces who actually was training us. So, yeah, that was all created <laughs> for the movie. Okay. But and there are there's there are videos on YouTube that are like those are based off of those yeah. Yeah. YouTube videos. Yeah. And uh, I'm curious who the Dead Weather fan is cuz that poster kept on being very prominent in the background of Dead your Weather apartment. Fan. Dead Weather? Uh, Dead probably, Weather. It it's, it's a band. It definitely had yeah. to be a uh, Set designer, the set the designer set probably designer. enjoyed that thing. The set designer's in Sublimers. a band, and yeah. he's like, the world will know us finally. <laughs> <laughs> and now he does, so well, good for since him. Since that question failed, uh, what about the Backstreet Boys? <laughs> Uh, the Backstreet Boys. God bless them. I hope they never go. What, what about them? They're a bunch of hunks who sing and dance. Um, yeah, my character likes them. 
I don't. <laughs> no, I do. I don't have anything. They're funny guys. Talented musicians. I'm Todd Jorgensen with uh, D Magazine Front Row. D. Uh, D. Um, Todd with the big D. I wanted D. to ask you guys. You... <laughs> <laughs> He's like this. It's true. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. very large uh, genitalia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're coming back. We're coming oh, back. Yeah. I did want to before I I have two questions, but I did want to point out that Rob is the only one who accepted the butt pillow that was offered before the interview. <laughs> says a lot about him. Says a lot about him. <laughs> no, no shame. No shame in that at all. He um, likes a little mush on his butt. Yeah. We Hello? like it hard. That's right. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no. Alice was talking a little bit before about the. Um, the uh, preparation and some of the training that you might have done for a role like this. Uh, typically, when we're talking to people who play cops, yeah. we're talking about you know what kind of research did you do? Did you do ride-along stuff like that? But when you're playing fake cops, no do you do any of that kind of stuff, or do you just <laughs> go into it intentionally not knowing anything? I mean, uh, yeah, that's that was one of the perks of being in a movie where we're pretending to be cops is that we don't have to do that kind of stuff. Every mistake we make as a cop is uh, encouraged. Because we were supposed to suck. <laughs> you were a whiz at that. Yeah, you, I really, I really had to unlearn kind of natural things about yes. how to protect myself. But this guy it was a man, bumbling you idiot. You are a giant baby with a beard. <laughs> yeah. It's not the first time I've been called that. <laughs> uh, we did go on a one drive along uh, early on, just so we can see what cops go through oh, yeah. in Compton, where they took us to the hood in L.A., which was terrifying. Very scary. It reminded us both quickly that cops have a very dangerous life and that we respect them and that we are just actors and we're happy to be sissy actors. Absolutely. Uh, but outside of that, we were supposed to screw up. And then the other thing was about the improv that you had mentioned. Can you go a little bit more into that in terms of what sort of things you were encouraged to do? And Well, when we signed on to do the movie, you know, they sent me the script and Damon the script, but we weren't a package deal. They had liked a bunch of different guys for Justin's and a bunch of different guys for Ryan's, and we heard each other's names, so we called each other up and basically said, uh, I'll do the movie if you do the movie, but we both thought it needed, in terms of the comedy, some like improv and to loosen up. So we said we would love to do it. We would love to improvise and loosen it up. And they said, you know, before we even got to Atlanta, we would love you guys to do that. Let's do it. So we did a lot of improv, but we were told we were... A, a Probably like 70% of the movie is improvised. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm hey, Gotti Elkan. I'm with Selig Film News. Nice. News! Gotti! Here we go. Uh, to start things off, Daddy Face. <laughs> what was it like no. having... No! No! What's it like having balls in your face? Uh, and for Rob and Jake, what's it like pulling balls onto his face? Uh, He's starting. It was not pleasant. <laughs> it's kind of like I had bangs like Jess, but they were made of testicles. <laughs> <laughs> it was his most adorable moment. Yeah, it was adorable. Of the movie. Yeah, um, it was scary. I, I held my breath for as long as I could. Uh, he didn't smell as bad as I thought. He would. He was sweaty. He was, but he had been running throughout that hardware store, yeah. sweating. And then I'm just like, why do? Why didn't they shoot this first? <laughs> but that's comedy. <laughs> uh, I didn't love it, but I felt like it was worth it. I felt like it, it gets a big laugh, and I'm happy to uh, be a part of that. And why did we? Why did Jake and I decide to? Oh yeah, pull tell them. Tell them why the he did pulling that. Pulling gesture the, of the putting pulling, the balls. Because they were pulling. supposed to pull me off oh. of him. You're we supposed to be a police officer there, and you know, save the day. But we. Sometimes real life is more important than a movie. Yeah. And we had Damian Wayne's Jr. on the ground with a Samoan man's testicles near it, and we made the right call by pulling the hole closer to Damian's mouth <laughs> until he jumped out, and we have to edit really fast. So the cut in the movie makes a story-wise doesn't make a lot of sense, but in life I don't regret that play. <laughs> I'm just. Got it on camera. And I'm just curious, you guys didn't do a lot of cop training, but you guys did a lot of like physical comedy. Mm -hmm. Was it fun to do all those types of falls and different stuff like that? I, I love I love to do physical comedy. Whatever makes people laugh is like I, I like to do. I grew up watching Jim Carrey, my dad, uh, a lot of physical uh, comedians, and it you know it always makes me happy to like kind of do what they do. One of the things I liked about this movie is that it felt like we were doing a lot of different tones and a lot of different styles of comedy. So within an hour and a half, we do very physical stuff, we do smaller stuff, you've got like drama, you've got a little love story. So it just honestly felt like there's a lot to this as we were shooting, and it was a fun thing. Other projects I've done where you're just kind of hitting one tone, and you're hitting it over and over, but there was something fun about this that we were trying to make a big summer movie. 
of Bobby Blakey with the Dallas Examiner. Bobby! Examiner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, going back to with the action stuff, how much of it did y'all get to do yourself? You know, I know they have a lot of stunt people that yeah. come in, but... You, I did you all shot. my running. For sure. <laughs> he I did said, an excellent job. You look yeah. very professional. Yeah. Uh, we did the beginning and end of the big stunts, but the stunts in this movie get crazy, um, and neither of us are Tom Cruise, so we were very happy Speak to... for yourself. <laughs> You're not Tom Cruise. Now. Yeah, he does have the run. <laughs> he runs like that always. Um, so, I did my own backflip. Yeah, yeah that's no. true. That's uh, true. Uh, Sorry, did, I keep jumping on. Did you I don't fail care. on that I know. one? Was uh, that you? No, that, but that was based off, we pitched that idea because Damon can really do flips. And so we were, there was a whole scene that got cut out of the movie where we do this choreographed dance and we had to rehearse for it. And it was really my nightmare. And Damon was actually pretty good at it. And then we felt like, well, let's have a joke in here so we're not just dancing in a movie. And because Damon can really flip, we pitched that joke. And then I was going to try it, but I would have gone like half. And then our stunt guy's like, I'll do a fake flip. And we shot it as an experiment. It turns out to be really funny, so it made it in the movie. Can you yell dance for us real quick? <laughs> Not with that deadpan face right there. Yeah. <laughs> it feels a little bit yeah. too dirty. Can you dance for me? You'll yes, recreate man. the dance Where are your hands, you're bro? the people out on the street. Can you dance for me, yeah. bro? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Don't even try to bite the size of style. Mr. Spock can't stop me. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.